Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to configure Grover Wi-Fi S series data logger in uh, with IP address. Okay, first of all login into the uh, Shinephone credentials and select the plant, whatever the plant, if, if you have a number of plan, uh, inverters and number of plants in single account, you click anything. After clicking in the plant, it will ask you to scan the data logger. So if the barcode is uh, present in front of the data logger you can scan if not you can enter it manually as shown in the video okay so make sure there should be no mistakes done so if it is capital you have to enter capital if it is zero you have to enter zero after entering the serial number at the end there should not be any space okay and you have to enter the check code which is behind the data logger and click on confirm so here you have to select method 2 2.4 plus 5 gigahertz it is asking you to press the button uh, in the data, uh, data logger single time press okay so that blue color LCD uh, light will be steadily on okay the blue LED is always on it should not blink okay after that click on next and again you have to cross verify check click on next now it is asking you to connect to the data logger serial numbers so after clicking single time uh, if the blue light is steady steadily on i mean without any blinking it means that it will converted into four, five gigahertz mode it means data logger uh, data logger serial number will reflect it in your wi-fi settings go to wi-fi settings and search it for search for the data logger serial number so it will be reflected in the uh, wi-fi settings and click on that and enter the wi-fi password sorry data logger uh, password one two three four five six seven eight and click on connect okay it will get connected to the data logger serial number and there will be no internet connected to that okay so now what you have to do is uh, close the wi-fi settings okay click on next year it is asking you to do this process which is shown in the video in the web browser okay for this you have to go to web browser here okay so the ip address will be 192.168.10.100 okay so while doing this you have to connect it to your data logger serial number only after entering it will ask you to enter the password username and password see in in this already it is mentioned username and password you have to cross check and enter username will be admin password will be 12345678 as it is as Wi-Fi data logger password okay click on login cross check again while entering and click on login so in the center of the screen zoom it so Wi-Fi list you can see here right click on the Wi-Fi list and click on the Wi-Fi network of the customer and click uh, Wi-Fi password click on Wi-Fi password and enter the Wi-Fi password here if you won't find cl cl click on search okay so beside the search button only there is a arrow mark click on that and select the wi-fi network of the customer minimum three points is necessary click the password and click on apply here okay so i have connected to the invert uh, data logger serial number only and click on apply here after clicking on apply so another pop-up will come in the screen in the center of the screen only be patience so it will ask you it is asking you to restart immediately click on restart immediately after restarting immediately again it will redirect to this login page remove this page after this remove this page from the tabs and go to sign phone application and click on set here so you have to turn on the mobile data here turn on mobile data and click on done so ip address is also mentioned here okay connect click on done and click on connect so it will configure immediately or it will take some time so it is shown return to power station data logger successfully configured and return to power station click on that you have to wait for a few minutes it will the data will reflect here okay uh, go to device list and uh, all parameters just you have to be patient until five minutes some data loggers will reflect immediately and some data loggers will take its own time to fetch the data from server okay so keep an eye on data logger light what, what light it is blinking whether it is steady or blinking 
so after configuration blue color will keep, keep on blinking okay it will not be steady okay now click on all parameters here and see half of the partial data is already reflected pv1 ac1 all these things got reflected so in dashboard it will take time to reflect all the data okay so keep on refreshing it keep an eye on this so make sure in, in when you stand nearby the inverter wi-fi signals customer wi-fi signal should be minimum three points okay just be patient so total power is already uh, reflected here so here you can check all the parameters like this here thing all the things so here you can see it's now device got in my device list it is given gone into normal mode it means data is reflected data logger configuration is successfully done and it is interlinked with with data logger grova data logger and the wi-fi of the customer router okay so if you wait for more minutes the generation on the, all the graph will also be reflected in the application okay so if you like the content please like share and subscribe and more you can go into all parameters as i told every parameter will be available so in other other data if you click on each and every parameter will be available here okay so in this way we can configure wi-fi is model data logger with ip address okay thank you